This is all she wrote. <clears throat> Forgive me. You all hear me? All right. Yes. Seems to be a little echo. Forgive me. I'm no good at this. I can't write back. I never read your letter. I can't say I got your note. I haven't had the strength to open the envelope. The mail stacks up by the door. Your hands illegible. Your postcards were defaced. Wash your wet hair. Any document you meant to send has yet to reach me. The untied parcel service never delivered. I regret to say I'm unable to reply to your unexpressed desires. I didn't get the book you sent. By the way, my computer was stolen. Now I'm unable to process words. I suffer from aphasia. I've just returned from Kenya and Korea. Didn't you get a card from me yet? What can I tell you? I forgot what I was going to say. I still can't find a pen that works. And then I broke my pencil. You know how scarce paper is these days. I admit I haven't been recycling. I never have time to read the times. I'm out of shopping bags to put the old news in. I didn't get to the market. I meant to clip the coupons. I haven't read the mail yet. I can't get out the door to work. So I called in sick. I went to bed with writer's cramp. If I couldn't get back to writing, I thought I'd catch up on my reading. Then Oprah came on with a fabulous author plugging her best-selling book. Um, we were just discussing, does Oprah still read fiction? I know she still reads nonfiction.